the spirit will only speak to the people to call the guy who looks like them. And we will spiritualize it. We will, we will, we will even... Spirit, George, but that's because the spirit also looks like the call committee. Exactly. You see, that, that's, that's the problem. The, I could do this for a few more hours, but I think um, it's good to... <laughs> no. It's good to have a time limit. We can pick, uh, Jeremy's run away. Okay, George. <laughs> and I'm going to use an example, and this is a good example, by the way. So the example... Name friends, it, James. Uh, of, Name it, James. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a shame. It's actually a, a, a praiseworthy. So, so Black Lives Matter becomes an expression of the, the feelings of the people that have been going on for years, for centuries, that may come to a certain extent, find some formalized... Uh, structural presentation and in that formalized structure there will be some elements that people will feel we're not comfortable with this idea because of particular issues the best thing to do is to go back where did the movement comes from the movement starts as an organic um, impulse of people who react to a certain situation that they've been going through so he mentions the 19, uh, 2013 the killing of a teenage black man unarmed and that sparked an hashtag black lives matter we, we may tend to lose the heart of the problem as we begin to discuss the document the founding document of an organization and not a movement that is echoing the challenges that people are going through because once we get stuck into that conversation you know the ideological conversation as necessary as it might be and we're doing this tonight which i think it is necessary but my concern is that we could actually miss the outcry for justice coming from the margins wherever those margins might be or people are crying out for help who are pointing out some areas of uh, of inequalities and injustice in that sense, we can link to the situation in South Africa or in any other community that is going through some issue. We can see some correlation between is the injustice, because ultimately that's where the heart is. Is it a call to redress injustice? The failure of those who may have the right conservative biblical views creates a vacuum that somebody will have to fill and that will resonate with the masses. The instructional section of Proverbs, the first nine chapters, you find wisdom crying out, but it's crying out from like secular spaces. It's crying out from the, from the marketplaces, from the intersections of, of culture and commerce. Wisdom is crying out, but it's God's wisdom. Is it possible that we can glean something of God's wisdom from outside of, you know, your typical uh, temple spaces? Uh, spiritual spaces think of the three top things that south africa and i'm saying south african churches the african believers should be thinking about and talking about and then actually can action can i go first i'll just go quickly stop planting churches in your neighborhoods because wherever you planted unless it's in uh what is it parklands in the the, on the west coast in Cape Town, which is a very multicultural community. Unless you're planting it there, you're planting it in an apartheid-style segregated community for the most part. Plant churches in the margins. Plant churches where the intersections are. And if there are no intersections, then create the intersections, build the relationship yeah. before you plant the church. Because yeah. you're fooling yourself, man. You're going to yeah. call it a multicultural space, but it's not. It's just a a space where people with different skin tones come together, but their culture is not welcome. Definitely has to be an intentionality on how you design that church and how you pull people in from leadership to membership. That, that, there has to be intentionality because people tend, in our fallen nature, we tend to gravitate towards the, those who are like us. I think we can agree on this if a church was looking for a minister as a call committee put out, chances are that the, the, the spirit will only speak to the people to call the guy who looks like them. 
and we will spiritualize it. We will, we will, we will even... Spirit, George, but that's because the spirit also looks like the call committee. <laughs> exactly. You see, that, that, that's the problem. So that, that's the, the, we'll call the week of we need to go and seek the Lord. And we, we I, I really have this conviction in my heart that the Lord really is calling, leading us to. But the reality is our own biases are filling, a boiling out and, and, and yeah. expressing thoughts and so on. And we can spiritualize and, and, and canonize our decisions, but the reality is our fallenness and taken over. I, I think we are missing out on such a huge opportunity for personal transformation mm. that spills yeah. over into, you know, organizational yep. and community transformation. When we miss out on those intercultural discipling opportunities, it's going to change us and then we'll be able to reproduce after our mm -hmm. kind. But mm -hmm. the problem is we're reproducing the same old racialized yeah. type 